Let's start off with some body work. First of all, I'm going to correct a couple of the panel lines, make them a bit wider and a bit deeper. And to do so, I start by scribing them out with a saw blade from Scale Motorsports. This helps get the rough edges out of it and some of the lumps and bumps that might be in it from the casting also get removed. With the first pass of the saw blade now gone through all of the panel lines, I can move on to a scribing blade from Tamiya. I'm using a 0.2 millimeter, which is good for the 124 scale. It makes them nice and deep and not too wide. After those first couple of steps, I move on to the final step before primer, and that is sanding it down with a 400 grit sanding sponge. Now you can also just use some regular 400 grit sandpaper. I prefer these as they conform to the shape really well and also get into some of those tighter areas a lot easier than sandpaper would. As this body is resin, I'm not using the regular Zero Paints primer I usually use as that is for plastic only and doesn't really stick all that well to the resin if you're going to mask it off later on, which I will be doing on this one a lot. So I'm just going to apply a couple light coats of the grey primer from Tamiya. The body is now fully covered in grey primer for a first coat. I let it sit and cure for about 30 minutes and then I noticed that I had made a couple of mistakes during scribing and there were also a couple of imperfections in the body that needed to be fixed. So I sanded those lightly, added some super glue to fill that in and also some filler on a couple of areas where necessary, then sanded it smooth with some sanding sticks and went over the entire body with a 600 grit just to scuff it up again and go on for a second and third coat of primer. The second coat of primer is applied, it's all looking nice and smooth and I let it sit for about 30 minutes to cure and then moved on to sanding it even smoother, removing some of the dust that might have fallen into it with a 3000 grit sanding sponge and getting it as smooth as I possibly can before the next stage and that is applying the color. Instead of going with the regular orange, gray, or maybe even green you see on a lot of these Lamborghinis, I decided to go a different route and I choose a Porsche Gold. This was used on an exclusive Series 911 Turbo they did a while back and I thought it would look really cool and I really really like this color so I figured why not. Of course as usual hard to reach eats forget spots first after blowing off any of the dust that might have fallen onto the body and then it's onto a nice coat of paint for the rest of the body.
The first coat is applied and the color is covering really nicely. Although it is going on a bit thicker than I wanted to, so I let it sit and cure for a bit longer in between. Usually that's about 5 minutes, this time I set it to 10 minutes. And then moved on to a second coat. Again, this is going on a bit heavier, the body is resin so it doesn't eat into it, it's perfectly fine. However, if this was a plastic kit, I usually do not recommend this. As the thicker of a coat you apply, the harder it will eat into the plastic and ruin the finish. So be aware of the surface that you're spraying and also the type of material that it is, of course. So I advise to go a bit lighter on the plastic models, but in this case with the resin or a metal body, it's totally fine to apply a bit heavier of a coat, but you need to be aware that it needs a lot longer of a drying time as it's a lot thicker, of course. The third and final coat of color has been applied and like I said it is going on a lot thicker so it needed a bit more drying time. I set it aside for about 24 hours and the next day I moved on to masking off a lot of areas that needed to be painted black. I started off with the headlights and also the engine cover or surrounding vents for the engine and then did a lot more but I'm not going to show all of it as it's pretty much a lot of masking off, removing the masking tape after it's painted black and then masking off again. A couple coats of black later and it was time to carefully peel off all of the masking tape before I could move on to repeating this same step for a lot of the other areas on the body that needs to be black before I could move on to applying a nice coat of clear. After applying a couple more coats of black paint and a lot more masking tape onto the body, everything was peeled off, dried, and moved back into the spray booth to give it a nice glossy finish. Now of course I did touch and handle the body a lot, so there might be some dust on it, and as always I just go over it really carefully by blowing on some air and removing that loose dust before I go on to those hard to reach, easy to forget spots and the entire rest of the body as well. The first coat is down, so about 5 minutes of cure time for the second coat is applied and eventually the third one in the same way until I achieved a nice glossy finish I'm after.
third coat is on, it's looking really nice and glossy and I'm super happy with the way that it came out. I'm a really big fan of the color and I'm curious to know what you guys think. Now it's a bit out of the ordinary but it's a Lamborghini after all so a bit of flashiness is not too big of a deal. Now I'm going to let this sit and cure for a bit before I move on to the next stages on the body and in the meantime I will be moving on to the interior. I would like to know from you guys any suggestions for the interior color in the comment section below and hopefully there is a couple of cool combinations which I might be able to choose from.